a stream this late in the evening on YouTube? What even is this? Well, it's Mississippi Acres Preserve, obviously. What's going on, guys? How's everybody's... What even is this? Tuesday evening going? What are we doing streaming on a Tuesday? Nobody even knows, but, uh, yeah. I can't believe we're actually on a map with gators in Call of the Wild. I, you know, I made that video when there were those couple of hints, and I thought, what am I even doing? It's not, it's not going to be gators, really. <laughs> and it's gators, and they're really cool, and I love it. And this map has got sort of a rancho vibe. It's got this kind of, there's animals everywhere. You can always be potentially shooting a small game kind of vibe, and I really, really enjoyed the video uh, earlier today. So I'm hoping to kind of pick up where we left off. We actually have a lot of the map to explore, and I'm excited to see what else this map has to offer. I mean, we got that diamond raccoon. I saw some of you guys mentioning the 12 scoring diamond, which was just absolutely hilarious. By the way, uh, that should be a max red estimate cottontail. It may be the one that I referenced in the video. I wonder where the next track would be. What are the odds we can track that? They're a lot better now um, since they fixed the particle effect on the tracks than they were, say, I don't know, for the past basically six months. I'm not seeing a track, and I don't think we're going to track a rabbit, but we may get a shot here at a raccoon if one wants to cooperate. We're having all of the frames issues still. I don't know. I think my PC is starting to officially die. It might, uh, might not enjoy having the streams open all the time. Maybe I'll kill, like, Discord and such. See if that makes a difference. Get rid of such things as that. Speaking of such things, winners, thank you for the nine-month membership renew. I appreciate that. Hey. What's going on, dude? Kyla go no, no, she just walked into the room with her food. <laughs> yeah. Timed it well. How's rival season going for you? Um, so, uh, the first three minutes of this stream, we've killed nothing. That's that's how rival season's gone so far. <laughs> it has been... It's been a struggle. And you know what? I, I've really tried to avoid spoilers over the course of, you know, the, this season. And I think I'm going to stick to that. Why are we lagging, like, frames so bad? It just seems like my PC can't handle Call of the Wild anymore. I'll turn down the graphics, I guess. Hate to do that on, su on such a uh, beautiful-looking map, but you know, we'll go down to high and see if that maybe helps things out. Mouth open, chewing ASMR. Get over here, Kyla. The mic's over here. No. <laughs> <laughs> 1 to 10, how would you rate this map? I'm not a huge fan of rating the maps extremely early on. Because one thing that I think tends to happen, and you kind of see it in, uh, you know, all over the community usually. New map comes out, there's all these new things. I mean, there's gators, there's raccoons, there's, uh, the wild hogs are different, all these fur types. The first kind of reaction is like, it's a 10. I'm going to say in all likelihood it's going to hang around like a 7 or an 8 for me, kind of like Rancho did. We're doing a lot of kind of slowing down right now because things are just, it's all new and I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to expect. But, yeah, I mean, pretty much all over the place, there's the opportunity to run into something. And it's a lot of small game, it's a lot of, you know, you gotta pay attention, look around, see where maybe the small game is hiding. But I I really liked with Rancho. At any moment, you might step on a pheasant, you might kick a rabbit out of a, a bit of brush. And, I don't know, that wasn't a thing with a lot of the other maps. Like, the small game kind of hung out in their little areas. As far as I can tell, it's the raccoons, the rabbits, the quail. They're pretty all over the place, and the big game's plentiful too. I, I think they did a good job of balancing that. This map is definitely better than Rancho. Yeah, so the one thing, and I've not explored much of this map. I mean, we got through like these little areas during the video. There's a ton to explore, and I'm hoping, you know, depending on how these streams go, uh, lowering the graphics settings may have actually helped us, by the way, so maybe that's a good sign, but anyway. Um, the internet has been a little less than consistent here, so uh, if that ends up being a problem, then I guess I'm just going to go back to doing videos and not getting as much sleep as I'd like for real life hunting. But anyway, what I haven't seen on this map is the absurd clusters, clusters of animals that Rancho had. And while it's fun to, you know, multiplayer server hop and hit all those spots, it kind of, I don't know, it devalues the whole map when there's like three spots you go to to kill all the animals. So. It seems like it's more spread out here, and I think that's good. By the way, we are sort of 
approaching some water and fields over here, so hopefully we'll start to run this stuff. You get so poetic when you talk about killing stuff. Wait, with what? Killing stuff in game or killing stuff in real life? I'm curious. I'm trying to understand what was poetic. Thank you, though. I appreciate that. Gray Fox. See, I don't even know what, um... I don't think I've seen a male Gray Fox yet. I know they're going to go to level 9. I know that one had actually... Speaking of warning calls. One warning call near us during the video. But I have yet to actually see one or pick up a track from one to know, like, what the estimate would be. Now, the females around level 5 were, like, basically near 5kg. So... Probably not too dissimilar to the Red Fox. I'm guessing maybe close to 15 is the number to look for. That's a kind of blondish one. Let's see if we can get that with the 22 Hornet. You want to stand up or anything? You want to take a shot from the 22? It's, yeah, we got along. It's, uh, I don't know. For the fact that it's a weapon that's supposed to cover classes 1 and 2, it doesn't necessarily feel a lot more powerful than the normal 22, so that may need to be addressed. It's a... Hey. I can flag at the top. It's a, uh... It's a good caliber. I think it should be more powerful than they're giving it credit for. Do you get the 22 just from buying the DLC? So, the 22 is available in your store if you purchase the DLC. However, the... Oh, okay. We're opening the map, I guess. The, uh... The 22 is 75000 in in-game cash in a store, the same price as the 300 and I know probably, especially for maybe a lot of newer players, that's going to seem absurd, but for anybody that's played Call of the Wild for any decent duration of time, number one, you're probably going to have the cash to pay for it anyway, but the more important thing is, a weapon that can cover classes 1 and 2, I think is worth every penny just simply for the fact that you can really do a lot more with your loadouts. Like so often, you get on a map, say, Yukon Valley, where... There's ducks, there's red fox, and then you have all the big game. And to bring all the weapons you want to, you kind of have to sacrifice something. Whereas, if you can bring that 22 Hornet, you've got your foxes and your harlequin ducks covered with that, and then you can bring more options as a big game weapon. So I really think it's going to be a good thing, even if it's not the most powerful. Look at that little fluffer. Little blonde raccoon. I like them. You know, <laughs> when they were revealed with this map, I was kind of like... I don't know, does anybody actually really want to hunt them? It turns out I want to hunt them, and the fact that they, you know, make diamond at 12 is... Could, could it be? Could it be more perfect? What are class 2 animals? Fox... Uh, Roe would be a 3, actually. Red Fox and Gray Fox are 2s, Musk Deer are 2s, Coyotes are 2s, um... There are others. Lynx are a 3. That is a stump buck. Quail or turkey? Quail. I actually would like to encounter a couple more of them, and I want to... I don't know. I don't know what to do with my loadout. I keep on... Like, when I played Rancho, I kept the shotgun always in slot one. But during yesterday's video, I kept on getting the shotgun instead of the 7mm, so we'll see. I'm happy to use the Mosin again, though. The Mosin is a good gun. I, I kind of miss it. I'll get where... Just got on the map. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, someone's asking me about my gators, and I just got on there. Yeah, we're actually, we're heading that way. I'm going to get this outpost, and we're moving towards what I think is going to be a gator area. By the way, another area that I want to get into, it's called Gator Lakes. So, surely there's gators up there. Um, we'll give that a look in a bit. It was one of the areas I kind of just got to discover after the video was done, so I didn't do much in there. What's that? What are you? Red Fox feeds him. Look at that! That's pretty neat. It's kind of like a... I don't know, more eaten carcass than the rabbits used to be. It is a larger female, which is kind of cool, uh, but the weight difference isn't much. So that's kind of making me think maybe 10 to 12 kg might be what to look for for a, a big male. One day we'll yeah. encounter such big males. What's up, Hunter Man? Uh, Red Dead Wolf, thank you for the super chat. Finally get to catch a stream. Welcome to stream, man. Glad you can make this one. I think it'll be a good one to get into. I'm excited to kind of start getting fast. So we started in this area because it annoyed me <laughs> that I didn't go over and get this lookout and outpost. And now we're kind of starting to break new ground to areas we haven't been. So I'm excited to see 
what's hanging around here. Speaking of that, there's a quail. So as far as I can tell, they're sort of similar to pheasants. You kind of got to, you know, get them spooked. Maybe they'll go and hide somewhere and then you flush them. Now, this is annoying. Every single quail is zero kg. And I mean, that makes sense. That's the way they should be. But <laughs> if you want to, you know, potentially track a diamond or something, you got to open the map and see th that exact weight. Are you going away from us? We hit it. Okay, actually good that we only hit three, because I don't want to delete zones. Uh, not a clue which three we hit, or if they're going to die. That one's dying. Uh, that one's still alive. That's a small male. I have no idea which ones we hit and which we didn't. I think I can't spot that, so is it dying? I don't know. That went pretty well. Could have been good if you pulled the trigger. Do you want to... Uh, would you rather wait on spoilers for that, or do you want to... Explain what you mean, because you're absolutely welcome to if you want. You want me to? Uh, okay. So, without giving too many spoilers, because I think it's important not to, where was that quail laying? I went to claim it, and then I shot another one. Uh, there it is. We had a... a buck that some of you guys will recognize if you've watched the past hunting videos. At about, I'm going to say, between, at different times, like 80 and 110 yards. He probably got closer to like 75 at one point. Um, giving some shot opportunities, but never really stopping like really well in the open. And Kyla never felt comfortable with the shot. And as you should do when not feeling comfortable with the shot, she did not pull the trigger. But it, her first buck would have been bigger than any buck that I uh, have shot, if that maybe helps. <laughs> It would have been pretty wild. I don't know. That looked big. Was that a male? Ooh, it's a gray. That's a cool color. I like them. Rascal wants me to go over this way. We got quail laying over there. Is console getting on the seventh too? What are you? There's pigs going over here now. Like I was saying before, the, the game can be very plentiful on this map. Anyway, uh, as far as console, I have not heard for certain. What are you doing? Eh, don't want to hit with a bird shot. Um, but I think it should be a, like, <laughs> simultaneous release. I would like to think that's what they would go for. So, I'm hoping for that. Uh, TJ, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Oh, with the new 22, you know you have to test it on K-Buffalo. We will have to give it a shot. Man, I hope, I'd love to get the same crew together or, like, a similar size crew and go and, uh, you know, do the same kind of thing. You know, the quads and the tents. I was so proud of that strategy. Excuse me. Picked up my drink. Uh, oh, it is there. Another brown. A couple of golds in there, not too bad. I don't know how they're scored, and I've been too stupid to actually look at what it says. I still get there. Look at the mohawk on the burb. It was a good-looking mohawk. How many, um... How many quail have we claimed? Four. I think we shot four, so we should be good to keep on moving towards the outpost. Jazzy calls on him as a Canadian don't know. Holy. Not allowed to yet. We need to like, I don't know. I'd, it would be cool to, ooh, a, hold on. I want to find that. A red variant gray fox. I want to see who that is. Anyway, it would be interesting to know like, I, I need to talk to somebody and see if Kyla actually is allowed. Because technically, you know, there, there are certain people with permissions to be on the map right now. And I definitely do not want to break some kind of, you know, contract or something. Bad angle can fully see his shoulder. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I guess I didn't do the best job of explaining that. There were, there were times when he was perfectly broadside, but kind of like hidden well, and there were times when he was angled and a little more in the open. There, there was a point where he stared at us for like five minutes, and like, I don't know, there was a shot angle there. There's two red ones. Uh, but it would have had to be, like, through the front shoulder and, like, it was her first time even trying to shoot a deer. It's not exactly ideal to take, like, a weird quartering shot. So I I was more than happy to watch her just, you know, try to wait for a better opportunity. Did I miss uh, Britain with the super chat? I sure did. Thank you, man. Uh, what diamonds have you got on this map? The only diamond to this point has been the raccoon from today's video. A 12 scoring diamond raccoon. 12. I was... <laughs> I was so happy when that happened. 
there's you know there's a lot of cool species on this map I think a diamond gray fox is potentially something that could be I, mean, I hope it's not like the red fox but it could be so cool to get one of them obviously a diamond gator um, but man a 12 scoring diamond I've always wanted one like I every time I get a 12 scoring pheasant I think that's you know I try to put those in the videos and stuff it's probably one of the red fox that we want but like a there's never been to my knowledge anything that makes diamond as a 12 score it was just fitting first map I've got the game first map since I've got the game that she's excited to play she really wants to gator hunt IRL she's not the only one didn't you want to do that too you yeah I thought so chasing gators small 12 small 12 indeed been sub since 100k didn't check till just now 285k it's been amazing to watch this community grow and uh we had 200k was around this time last year so to be watching the channel nearing 300k is insane and there's a couple of things that are going to happen at 300k number one is kind of a a thing that i wish i had thought of it was someone in the community's idea i believe to essentially do hunts with a caliber that correlates to the size of the channel so for instance uh when we get to 300k we'll do a hunt just with a 300 and that'll be one of the little things another one's going to be a 24-hour stream over on twitch i'm going to guess that's going to be maybe in february we'll see i wonder there's no way Aaron's going to be able to get time off huh probably not It'd be fun to have him out here anyway uh, I'll call you Jacob, just because it's the name that's on the screen. Thank you for renewing your membership, man. I certainly do appreciate it. JW, the biggest man. Call the wild. Thank you, dude. With over 1k watching, uh, right now, maybe? Oh, we can do better. I see what you're saying. I thought you were saying a right now thing. Got me big confused. All the likes. I think winners would. Are you ready for this? Like that. Huh? I can't. Because of the way Streamlabs works. I'll have to uh, do that. I don't know where these fox are. At this point, I'm starting to... Like, I want to see what they look like. I'll, I'll shoot them with the, <laughs> with the 7 mil. I don't mind too much. There we go. Okay, just now. It's got to be... Hello. Little rabbit. Wherever you just went. How'd you do that? Little Harry Houdini over here. I saw you again. Did a pretty good job of staying hidden. Ooh. The greys look cool. I mentioned it in, uh... In the video. They, they've kind of started to, it looks like... Remove the idea of, like, a common fur type. And because even when it comes to commons, and it's, you know, it's a thing with everything from whitetail to any other species, there is, you know, they're normally like a reddish brown color, but there's more gray looking whitetail, there's more like reddish, more that are just like a straight up brown. So I like that they're kind of moving that direction. And I just think it's going to have more variety. Like, I want a diamond tan whitetail buck. I like those the best. I don't know. I, I'm not saying I do, but. Somebody could uh, could feel that way, whereas someone maybe likes the the dark brown better. I think that was another, um, not gonna call it new fur type, like a variation of the commons. Am I about to lose this fox track after all this? At least we got a rabbit for our troubles. There it is. Okay, I'm getting him in the forest. I'm determined. Got a diamond melanistic mule deer, dude. That is insane. Have you posted that in the Discord uh, yet? I'd be interested to get a look at that. Try the biggest gun on a gator? So, gators are a class 6 animal. Um, same as like red deer, caribou, stuff like that. I kind of think they probably should be a little bit higher. I'd like to get to use, say, the 300 on them. But, I mean, that kind of is what it is. Look at that. That looks so cool. I'm going to use the 7 mil because I just want to get it dead. Just so we can take a look at the variation there. Uh, but yeah, I, I do want to do some experimenting with gators. I'm not sure what opportunities I'll have to make videos. I had said in a couple of places my intention is to basically do a stream around this time. Um, 
every day for the duration of this early access, like, creator event. That looks cool. I like the red, so it's almost like a cross with a red fox. Man, we need a, we need a gray variation of the red fox now. At EW, please and thanks. Anyway, um... So I don't know if I get to do more videos, but I really want to do some kind of, like, testing certain weapons on gators, because I get the feeling maybe the muzzleloader will be a good option, because it is very powerful and should be able to kill them kind of before they get to submerge. I wish I understood that better at the time that I made the video, but that kind of just, you know, I was trying to figure it out along with maybe anybody else that was watching that didn't see um, EW's live stream. I would like to say like anything muzzleloader maybe the 303 anything like high caliber and repeating because they have a very long animation when they get hit and i think that allows for a second shot what computer specs do you have those are in the description actually how'd you feel if they added an rpg could finally kill enough uh what are they called antelope jackrabbit on rancho to get a diamond in my own map. It's been absurd. Yeah, I don't know. I, maybe as a April Fool's thing, just for a little joke. I forgot if the growth rifle round covers class 6. It would. And it probably would be a good setup. You're right. Especially with the quail and stuff. My only concern would be it is not a... For a weapon that's classes 5 to 9, it's not that powerful. I'd be worried that it wouldn't do enough. Kind of like we saw the 7 mil do on that level 4 gator in the video earlier today. It just wasn't it wasn't enough with a long shot. Gator bow hunting? So I think it was it Beard or TK that brought that up during the stream. I think that would be a lot of fun. That's another thing I'd really like to do um, at some point here. What's up, RJ? Shot a diamond pronghorn two days ago. Not bad. There's a gator. I didn't hear a mating call. I think I see his little, little eyes sticking out there. God, the. Like, the yellow, it's so creepy, and it doesn't matter how many times I see it. They're just... They're scary creatures. I can't seem to spot him. Um, I don't want to go jumping around and freaking them out. They're kind of like the European rabbits. Um, but obviously they don't have burrows. They just sort of go underwater wherever they are. Uh, if you spook them, they're just gone. And I don't know how long you have to wait for them to come back or any of that. So I'd prefer to not, especially when it's coming our way. I don't want to even alert it. Don't you s Okay, I thought it was gonna go underwater. God, they're so cool. That animation- I mean, just- If we had a bow right now, and I really wish we did. I think it might have just noticed us. The wind isn't good. Gators would be able to smell, surely. Um, so I guess that's realistic. I swear I'm gonna have to shoot it without knowing. I cannot. Uh. Did it- It did. It just went underwater. I mean, we could never spot it to even know there was alert. Um, Michelin Man, thank you so much for the super chat, by the way. Been a minute since I caught a live one. I'm glad you can make it into this one. Glad to be back and very excited for the new map. I am too, man. <laughs> that was the one thing that was a little unfortunate. I have noticed that spotting gators can be tough. And who knows what we just lost out on. Um, <laughs> you can't really go and just pick up a track normally, like unless he had been on this side. Let's see. Maybe worth... So the one thing that I'm thinking is the fact that he didn't really warn and call, he just went underwater. Now the wind wasn't good and he was kind of close to us, but we also weren't doing that much moving. So he might be kind of decent. We may come back to this area and uh, try to get a look later on. If I can remember, it's kind of like... What if I just take a screenshot? How about that? If I can remember, we'll go and give a look. Bloop. That's what he said. Bloop and gone. Are you the same gator that's still underwater? I believe so. So that is the thing, and it's a... I don't know that it should be, but they can call at you from underneath the water. Uh... I don't really understand why. It may be kind of just a... I don't know. Call it a um, side effect of the way that they submerge. But I really do like that they've added... I'm starting to think he's not that big if he's doing all that. Um, I like that they've added a species that does give that big a challenge. Especially, say, like, you find a diamond or you find a rare. You really have to make a good shot. You could genuinely completely lose it. 
if you shoot them and they go and die under the water, they're gone. I, I don't think there is any recovering them. That's the way they made it sound like on stream. So I think that's going to be an interesting little aspect of difficulty there. Could you just blindly shoot in the water and hit them? Uh, no, because... Here, let me show you. Oh, hold on. What are you doing? Can I at least spot it? It's just a five. He's, he's just hauling, though. I'll show you what happens if you try to shoot in the water. Oh, we did hit it. I think. I don't think you can... I thought if you shot into the water, the water stopped the bullet. Is he going to die in time? I think he is. All right, thank you for asking that question, because I didn't think we were going to kill that one. Um, sometimes the water seems to stop your bullets. Maybe not all the time. Well, cool. We got ourselves a gator. If you personally could pick the next map, what would it be? I want another Africa map. You know what is a huge, huge thing with potential now? They've added gators. Crocodiles on another Africa map? Is that, is that a thing? Should we expect that? I kind of think so. They are bottom boy. And like I said, if we had a repeating rifle, we probably are going to switch to the 300. I, I like the 7mm M4 so much. But for gators, if you've got a repeating weapon, they've got that, you know, that roar or whatever you want to call it when you hit them. And I think it's probably realistic. Uh, where? Oh god, there's one right there. What are you? Another five. Uh. I don't really know what to do other than just shoot it and hope for the best. I think we're going to lose that one. Unless he dies before he gets completely submerged, which he did. We got them both. Nice. Uh, all the things are happening. It's Brucey. Thank you for the super chat and the sticker. Really appreciate it. I missed this game. Dude, it's a good time to get back into it. It looks like all kinds of good things are happening for this game right now. Little olive gator. Lung, liver, double lung and liver. And lung shot again. What's up? What's up, my dude? My dude. <laughs> yeah? M1, son? So, the only thing I'm thinking is the 303's got a bit more power. So that might... Whoa, dude. <laughs> They're everywhere. I hear another one. So is this... Is it too shallow here? Is that why they're all hanging around goodness it's kind of terrifying like do they attack let's see if they attack come get me I'm asking you another all by the way that was double lung and then intestine stomach I knew that was too far back oh I see you how much damage do they do Actually, not that much. Well, I think there probably will be like a aggressive thing too, but when they're fully like no animals flee and then attack, <laughs> it looks like it's going to though. I think I found a really good spot to hunt gators. Um, <laughs> they, they seem to get a little lost up here. Right, uh, in this little area. What's up, Vector? Oi. Good job. So I guess Olive is the... Call it common for the alligators. Seems to make sense to me. They should be a green color. What's up, Billy? Joseph, thank you for the super chat. I like that sticker as well. Can the gators get albino? Well, I know Scarecrow had a video earlier where he shot a piebald gator. I'm expecting albino to be a thing as well, but we'll see. The bottom boy wants to see a vital... Shop. Where the vitals is what bottom line wants to see. Oh, you want to see? I got you. You want to see the harvest screen? We will do that. There was a mating call over here. We'll try to go say hi. They do attack in real life. Like I said, it is. I. It probably shouldn't quite be the way that I'm guessing it is. They probably should sort of go at you from a bit of a distance, because they are like a predator that actually hunts their prey. You know, you've got like the bears and the stuff in the game. 
they more so, well, a lot of times they're kind of more scavenging than anything. Uh, I believe it's black bears. They don't much care for freshly killed, uh, you know, prey. But yeah, they should probably come at you, but I'm guessing if you sort of get within 10 or 15 meters and surprise them, I bet they'll attack. And I, I do intend to maybe at least try to do a little video like that. Uh, you know, just get one to attack, see what it looks like, let it kill me, all that. Please tell Parker what the new collar of this map is, because I've told him twice already. Raccoon collar. <laughs> it sounds like a crow, um, so I don't know what that's about, but it is for raccoons. Can you play on a multiplayer map if you don't have the DLC uh, unlike single player? Yes. Any map in the game, whether you own it or not, you can play on it in multiplayer. Um, as long as somebody in the server owns the DLC, you can stay on the map as long as you like. If So, so let's say there's a host, they own the map, obviously, because they've started the game. Then they have to quit. If anybody else on the game owns the DLC, you're good. If nobody does, you've got 15 minutes until that game ends. Sorry, by the way, I had to move that because I need to see in case the internet decides to die on me. I'm interested with these mating calls. Could they be like, was it Pumas? It said mating call and they're actually warning calling? Because the wind's bad here. It probably was a warning call. How would you feel about treeing hounds in Call of the Wild? I think it could be a pretty good idea. We've got some of these species that, you know, are commonly hunted with those kinds of uh, hounds. So, I don't know. There's a couple of things that I think go into that. One important kind of aspect to it, you've got to remember that, you know, something like, say, retrievers, maybe pointers. There's a couple of species that a lot of people want to see. And I would somewhat expect them to maybe take priority. So, EW might be, you know, a little later in releasing those kinds of things, it just straight up went underwater. It's not, it hasn't spooked yet, <laughs> but it just, I guess it went down deep enough to hide. Over 1600 watching. So Kyla asked me when we were driving home, how many people I expected to be here. And I said, it's late in Europe. So probably 850. Uh, seems I was wrong, but I appreciate you guys coming out. Nonetheless, I refuse to hit the like. Yeah, me too. I don't really, I don't really like my content. What? I don't like your content? Nope. What are you even doing, my guy? Trying to brainshot gators and wow. failing. I gotta restart my game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's mess something up and restart it in this stream <laughs> and just basically cheat. Oi! Where are you going, my guy? Did none of them submerge over here? I'll shoot you again. Don't you worry. I'm just out here trying to show your bottle bottles. Bottles to bite em boy. <laughs> bottles, hello. Calling you bite em boy from now on. <laughs> Did he submerge over there? What happened? It's fine. Wasn't that big. I would say hit the dislike for the lols, but no, Pikachu knows everything. What? What does the Pikachu have to do with that? Is he dead? That's a pizza. I don't understand the Pikachu reference. What was I go? Oh yeah, uh, evidently the dislike does just as much. Like it's just interaction is uh, kind of what I've been told in regards to YouTube and such things. Just ruin the perfect three through three likes. Well, I guess you got to go to six 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 now. What do you think about the new Red Deer Great one? I think it's pretty cool. I wish that I had one by now. I um, got to a solid twenty three hundred kills or so. Just could not get it before this event started and uh, obviously this took precedence this took priority and we'll get back to the red deer grind probably a little earlier than we usually do with new maps so there is one i think really kind of key element to this early access to understand versus the past ones so usually you know when uh ew's been kind enough to give us the opportunity to you know play the maps a little bit early the the save file that we play on is different, and I know some people, which I, I've i never really much uh, thought this was a good idea, you can really mess with things doing this, but some people would like copy their save file over, 
into that beta and then copy it back. And in that way, they kept the things that they shot in early access. But for at least me, I, I never did that. I Anything I shot in early access didn't count, basically. And when the live thing came out, it was as if I had never played. Any trophies that I shot in early access didn't come with it. The way that this early access works is that it's using my, my normal live save. So I'm guessing it's going to transfer back. And therefore, the diamond raccoon that we shot actually will stay. So... You know, spending the time to go after these things now can be good. I can't believe he just went back to calm. I guess the wind isn't bad for once. I don't know where he's going. Let's let's get in close. We'll we'll try to get a look at the vitals for Bottom Boy. What's your favorite cereal? Cornflakes are probably one of the only ones I can eat now. Lucky Charms would have been. That bellow was awesome. That's the first time I've actually heard the mating call, and it sounded so good. Does it have squirrels? It doesn't... Excuse you. What are you doing? Get back up here. <laughs> it does not have squirrels, by the way. They do... So, like, when you're really close to the water, in certain areas, you can see, like, the, the carcasses similar to the red fox feed zone we saw earlier. That's what their feed zones look like. There's kind of, like, some, you know, half-eaten... It, it just looks like meat basically um carcasses under the water so they that is apparently where they feed critical position so i guess we've alerted it will it come up and say hi if we've done uh. such things i hear you down there uh that bellow was legit it was cool dude it was really cool vector thank you for the super chat oh, so when do we get great one alligator uh it depends on how popular they are they may end up becoming a sort of priority thing but i would expect that's going to take some time can we do it this time? Yes. Much better. The splashing. Oh, by the way, come here, rascal. See if you can. See if you can do it. Where are you? Show the people. They did things. The water. What are you doing? Like we talked about, man. You scared of the gator? <laughs> okay. See the wake that he makes. It doesn't always look good. You know, right by the shore. That didn't used to happen. I'm really excited about some of those things that they're doing. Like, they're really trying to make, like, all aspects of the game better. I think that's that's a really big deal. Did I miss a super chat? I did, uh, from Ethan. Sorry about that, man. Thank you for the super chat and the support. Uh, regarding the dev note, improvements to population distribution on reserves, do you know if we're getting a population reset on all reserves? I actually didn't know they were doing that. I guess I missed that part. Uh, so when they did that with Layton, it changed some zone time, it changed, like, locations of where animals were. I think it did a population reset. In fact, I know it did. So maybe? Man, I hope... I don't know. I kind of hope not. I hope so. The great one red deer ground hasn't gotten me anywhere so far, so maybe. Surprise stream a little bit. Um, I... I tried to, uh, you know, make announcements about when I was going to stream, but it, it's difficult through the videos and Discord and community tab to get everybody to definitely see it. It's definitely not the normal scheduled stream, but I like streaming at this time. It's it's always cool to stream like at a different time of day. What? That's that's different. That looks like the pie ball, doesn't it? A five and everything. Doesn't it? Maybe it's just the way the light's hitting it. Where are you at? Little fella? Uh, uh, Jax Max, thank you for the super chat as well. Hi, send super chats a while ago. Love your vids. Did I miss one? I may have. That guy looks piebald too, so I think it's just the lighting. <laughs> Look at all these guys. They're all piebalds. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they are. If only. Let's see. I forgot to show the vitals of Bottom Boy. Dang it. Oh my god. I guess it's deep out there. That one's not coming back. <laughs> Even if we got a vital shot. Let me scroll back and, uh. I don't see that I missed one. I don't think I did. Did you possibly mean in the past? Pie? I don't think it was a pie. I wish it was a pie, but I think the lighting's just hitting them weird. Those do seem to be some, like, darker looking ones, though. <laughs> pie. Blind. Eh, more, more blind than anything. Okay. Let's, let's, let's try this again. You know what? I'm curious. This is potentially just going to, uh... Spook the gator and I'll be annoyed. 
does the 22 Hornet spook the same as like the... Yeah, it's just straight up spooked it. Okay, well, that was unfortunate. I was hoping it would just alert it like the normal 22. Because I don't know if it's supposed to sound like that or not. That's... Is it the way that the water is rendering? Or why is he just galloping across the surface? Oh my god. So graceful. Okay, bye. <laughs> not a hard shot. I try to lead him just perfect and keep it low. No such luck. That's a super ray right there. Actually, we, we long shot the first one. It's dead there. It's just, uh, it had submerged before it died. And therefore, it is not going to return to the surface. And I wouldn't be surprised if the same happens with that one. This area is great, though, for gators. We, we've seen a ton. No big ones, but a ton of gators over here. Sounds like a 270. So I think it's actually using the 243 sound. And uh, my guess would be is that it's not supposed to. So surely there's supposed to be another sound for it. Because I don't think any guns have the exact same sound in the entire game. And why they would copy the 243 for like a, a brand new weapon that a lot of people have been asking for. I, I can't see that being correct. Go get him, Billy. What classes is the 22 Hornet good for? Good for classes 1 and 2. Now, it's really... It's not that great on class 2 animals from what I've seen. I wouldn't recommend using it at range. Like, let's say you're going on... I think Yukon's a really good example. So you go to Yukon, you probably want, like, a 300. At least for, like, the bison and probably for the grizzly bear. You're also most likely going to want, say, either, like, a 303, a 7mm, M1, something for your caribou. Oh, moose, by the way, for the 300, too. But anyway, caribou wolves, um, those species. If you also want to bring something for red fox and harlequin ducks, you need, or you did need, a 22 and, say, like, the 243. And usually if you bring all those, you can't bring much else. Now, what you could do is bring bring that 300, bring your 303, and then just the 22 Hornet, and you probably still have space. And I think the 454 is such a good wolf defense gun. Just allowing that room in those kinds of loadouts, I think that's where the, the major utility for that gun is. Are black, brown, spring buck hard to find? Uh, not really. Um, they're more like an uncommon, and unfortunately they can only be female, which is rather frustrating. That's one reason you don't see me shoot a lot of them unless I'm in multiplayer. I don't really shoot female animals on my single player maps that often. Thank you, support assist, for the random sound. Uh, and that lack of shooting females means if I've shot, you know, the only black browns and they've respawned as commons, well, then I'm just never going to shoot any more females that then respawn as black browns. Do you know anything about the ducks if they're coming to the map? There are no ducks on this map. I don't know if I can list off the new species offhand, especially because some of them are very similar to old species. I'll do my best. It would be obviously alligators, um, gray fox, raccoons, bobwhite quail, eastern turkey, eastern cottontail, and wild hogs, I think are the new ones. Did I miss any? There's a good chance that I did. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, um, no ducks. They were talking about a waterfowl rework, though. I almost just spot. Oh, God, there's a gator right there. Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh. Oh, we did get it. That was kind of epic, even though it actually wasn't trying to attack us. Shot it in the neck. That was kind of neat. Three meter shot. Ah, I didn't show the... I sort of showed the vitals. I promise I'll kill a gator and show you the vitals, bottom boy. I will do it. It might take me the entire stream. I'm just trying to keep your view, really. I don't want you to leave. That's all it is. Can I cross here? Surely not. Hello there. I see you. I see one behind you, too. Yeah, that one's gone. Little level six. There are whitetail on this map. There are whitetail. I did say raccoons, though. Um, whitetail and... Dang it. What's the other repeat species? Nervous. Uh, speaking of whitetail, look at those guys. Just out there chilling. They don't care about this floaty gator. Not even a bit. That looks that looks hard shotable, surely. Uh. Let's see here. 
Not a hard shot. It's gotta be lungs, and he's not going anywhere. So is that very shallow there? Okay, bye. We got him good there. He was dying quick. I don't know if he's gonna die before he submerges, though. And uh, I think I answered my question. It's not shallow there. He went flying all the way down. Uh, Vector, thank you for the super chat again. Going to bed. I expect you to be here in like 30 minutes. Oh, in bed. I thought you meant like still streaming. I was like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you want me think I'm gonna leave? Still calm on the mating call, so maybe it's not broken. I don't know. Yeah, that one died. Just didn't didn't come back to the surface. I'm not sure about respawns with that. Now, there's been a lot of debate in, I would say, the community in general as to whether or not animals respawn when you shoot them and don't claim them. I would really hope that they kind of start to make them do that if they don't currently, because if that's the way that it's going to work, that you lose gators that dive down, well, I don't know, that removes the challenge if every diamond or rare just respawns if you don't kill it. So, I'd assume it's going to work that way. All of the things are happening. Danny, thank you for the 17 months. Been 17 months since I first started coming to the channel. Any fun kills today? None actually so far, were there? I feel like I killed something kind of cool, but... That gator running at me might have been the best thing at 3 meters. Uh, and what's your opinion of this map? So far, I like it a lot. So far, I really think they've done a good job. And, uh, these guys. They're such a cool species. Uh, by the way, HKB, thank you so much for the super chat. That was far too kind, man. I really, really appreciate the generosity, though. Nice, Billy. Did you just, like, smudge a little bit of white and make that a Santa beard? Wait. I see. I didn't know you could do that. All the membership things as well today. MGC Colton, thank you for becoming a channel member. Uh, if you're not in the Discord already, be sure to join that and link up your YouTube to get the member rule over there. Yeah. Get all the good stuff that comes along with having that membership rule. And enjoy the green name and emojis here in chat as well. Can we get this guy to get alert as the super chat's rolling in. What's up, Jared? Good to see you, dude. Haven't caught a stream in a while. Hope to your season is going well for you because it sure isn't for me. Hey, we're in the same boat there. <laughs> Not going too well for either one of us, evidently. But yeah, good to see you here as well, man. That's a beard and a sand hat, but is it an actual beard? Or did you just... Just smudge a little... Little color there and call it good. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna do it. No distractions. Show the vitals for Bottom Boy. Gonna do it. Got a bug and the dough this season. The freezer's full. Nice, dude. This is just super shallow over here. It, you can't tell either. Like, the water's obviously murky. It's hard to tell, like, what's shallow and what's not. Another olive. All right. So the brain, it's really tough to see. Like, there's a little tiny circle there. It's a very, very small target to hit. But it is, like, directly behind the eye, if you kind of go back and forth there. And then you can see pretty good-sized lungs. Decent-sized heart. It's... This is tough, because obviously the gators are huge. Like, they're 600 pounds. They go up to over 1,000 pounds, I believe. But to fit this entire long creature in this harvest screen, they had to make them really small, and it's really tough to see where the vitals actually are. Looks fantastic. Your beard. Yes. What gun are you using? I'm using the 7mm Empress for now. Um, it seems as though that's made its way to PC. It was a console exclusive for basically five years. I'm not sure why it was, um, but they've made it possible to get on PC, or at least it was available here in this uh, early access build, so I grabbed it. What's up? Uh, that's a tree. They look so good. I, you know, I wasn't sure what to make of it. And obviously, you know, we saw the reveal and they looked really good even in that trailer. I thought it might have been tough to really nail like a, a gator model. But they, they did a fantastic job. I feel like maybe we'll go and check that. What was it called? Gator Pond? Gator... Gator Lakes? Gator Lakes. We'll go and shoot quail and then go over there. Maybe we'll shoot quail. 
Does this map come out on the same date on console? As far as I'm aware, it should. Uh, usually, though, so this could be both good and bad news. <laughs> usually when we get these early access opportunities, they'll give us a release date, which they did not do, but they've set it on stream, right? So I, f I found that odd. Uh, but usually when they do give us a release date, they're like, because it's happened before, like, hey, PC release date's here, but just tell them console is, you know, say two weeks later. Like, they usually make that clear, and they did no such thing, so I'm I'm hopeful that it's all going to go at the same time. There's so little. You can't spot them. Man, this 16H, though, is the gun for Quail. I, I wasn't doing too good the last time I tried to hunt them, but... That's working out well. That's a red brown. These guys are so cool. Hand me my notebook. Do what? Hand me my notebook. Your notebook? I'm writing down all the fur variations. Oh, I see. I knew a pen there. I was wondering. I saw that pen was laying there from when I was uh, recording. Thanks. Interesting. Keeping track of such things, huh? A little gray. Heard a sound. I don't know what it was. Big quail. Is there any ducks on the new map? There are not, which kind of surprised me. Um, maybe we'll see them added. How many species are on this map? It doesn't feel like it's overly packed full with stuff like some maps are, so maybe there's room for, for such things. Let's squeeze through here. And quail number three. A brown. I heard another. I swear I heard a wing. I did. I can't tell you whether or not I hit it. I didn't see it fall through all those trees and such. Would it have been this? Probably not that big. I'm losing my mind. No, there is one. I tried to hip shot it anyway. One bonus one. Did I miss your super chat, Annie? I sure did. All kinds of things going on. Thank you, dude. I feel the 454 would be OP for gators. I don't know. I think with certain shot placement and stuff it will be. Let's go up here to uh, get a lake. Let's go from probably the south because the wind, yeah. Wind will be better to go from this side. Anyway, um, it's kind of similar power to the seven mil, to be honest. It'll be it'll be interesting to see. Kyle, I thank you for the five month membership, by the way. Whoa. Five months, golly. It's a long time, dude. I should meet Flinter, yes. That's a good idea. I think you should you should meet me one of these times. <laughs> I think we get along real well. Maybe. <laughs> Just a theory. Where's the equipment here? I wanted to grab the 303 for gators. Is it this? Oh, that's weird. Alright, that's a little different. 303, where yet? So I have a theory that the 303, because of their longer hit animations is going to be a really good option and we shall test such things hopefully very soon going into an area called gator lakes it's gotta be gators here right gotta be over here got about an hour left dude that hour has gone by so fast beating him's cool to be honest beating bottom boy is cool too if you guys ever get the chance he's all right all right i guess <laughs> crop my knee out of the picture though <laughs> <laughs> why didn't we should have just taken a picture together I don't know why we didn't there was so much going on it's like I don't know you feel like you're gonna have all this time between hunts and stuff and then it's hunts and gotta find a way to get food then you get out early in the afternoon and then you're waking up early the next morning it <laughs> there's never as much time when it comes to hunting as it feels like there's gonna be so I guess I'm not too surprised next time we gotta do that For me, calling alligators gators is weird. I'm curious as to why that is. Can you want anything cool? Uh, nothing too special yet, Shock. Lots of gators, though. Lots of gators, lots of quail. I saw these yesterday. Don't they? <laughs> if you get the wrong angle, don't they just look like a weird family that died standing up? <laughs> like, I swear. <laughs> it freaks me out. You catch them into the fog and stuff. It's so, so creepy. Uh, Kaiser, thank you for the super jam, man. Could you brain shot a hot? A hot. A hog? 
a gator. Hot ore is what it ought to create to do. Can you bring shot a gator with the new 22? So gators are class 6. I'm guessing the 22 is not going to be capable of reaching the the gator's brain. We can attempt it if we if we see a small one. We can give it a shot. Sorry about the cropping. It had to happen. But I took the picture. Okay. Why did you just uh, take a picture uh, of your knee, man? I was trying to take a good picture of you guys. It was good. I appreciated it. Guys, thank you again for the super chat. Anyone else just freeze? I uh, think we're still going strong. That 12 raccoon you got in the video looked amazing. I was so proud of that. Could not believe. The whole... There was like a... I told um, Kyla after the fact, like, that was a mess. There was a good 10 minutes where every time I brought something up and I had a plan to go to do something, I'd spot something else that caught my interest and just completely forget about the previous thing. It was... I don't know. Kid in a candy store is the way I said it in the video. I think that's the best description of what was going on there. So, Gator Lakes? Where's, where's, where's... I see you over there. Little female? Smaller female? Might be an opportunity to attempt the 22 shot. 22 on gators must work. It worked on them bears back in that 60k stream. So, the... The 22 Hornet, despite the fact that it is classes 1 and 2, I'm not so sure it's actually more... Like, I don't know if it's got better penetration or anything than the 22 Long Rifle. Now, it's classes, you know, it's got a, a higher weapon class, but I'm not so sure it actually has more power. You also can't do that with the 22 on bears anymore. It doesn't work, which is unfortunate. Or at least I don't think it does. It used to be, like, like he used to be allowed to shoot bears with the 22. Like, as long as you could kill him, it was all, all about quick kill. If your weapon was smaller than basically the biggest allowed caliber, you were fine. Now that's not really so much the case. But also, like, the heart on the bears is, like, at the very bottom of the chest. Like, there's there's a skull and stuff to go through on the gators. So I don't know. Where did they go? There was one, like, right there. Excuse me. Rascal's kind of freaking out. It must be on the move. Where? Oh. That didn't quite go to plan, did it? No. Man, that one <laughs> dove straight down. No chance. There was another female. I don't know. It, I'm not trying to spend too much time on a couple of random female gators. Maybe we'll skip to the next lake. Maybe there'll be males there. How can you use the dog by your side in the game? If you have the Bloodhound DLC, you can purchase a Bloodhound, I think in the kennel section um, of the like storage locker. And the, fir the first dog is free. Then after that, I think there's 45,000 in game cash. And yeah, you just set him as active and he'll come with you. Just got me a diamond red deer for my grind, not bad. So peaceful, just chilling. Only not peaceful when gators come running at us. Why are we talking about waking up early? Because he said since Scarecrow's doing 24 hour, he should be the one as well. I said ah. absolutely not. Absolutely not, you say? Yeah, uh, 24 hour streams are taxing. The upcoming one for 300k will have to do. There's a male. I thought that was another one behind him. What is your order for Chick-fil-A if you don't know? What about McDonald's? What's my order for Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A! I would get... What are they? Is it like 6 and 8? Is that what the nugs come in? 4, 6, and 8? Well, 6, 8, or 12. Alright, I want 12 grilled nugs. 12 count grilled nugs. And I see you. Don't think I can't see you. I don't know. Waffle fries don't really do much interesting. Not that I can. My other option is to get like a grilled chicken sandwich on a gluten free bun, but the, the gluten free buns are not good at Chick fil A. They're not good anywhere, to be fair. Actually, the one. I don't know where. 
What was the name of that place we went to? Uh, the restaurant in the battery. Do you know? Yard House. I, I knew it was like Yard something. They had uh, burgers with gluten-free buns. That was really good. I was impressed. All right. Let's test this 303 theory on a gator. So I think... Hello. I think because it's got a very long animation after you hit them, you should be able to shoot them twice. Okay, that seemed to work to perfection. I'm just not so sure. <laughs> I don't know if they were long shots, hopefully. Uh. Got a long way to go before we can get into the water. Uh, Red Dead Wolf, thank you for the super chat. Have they removed the dog hitboxes yet? I've actually not messed with my dog, but I saw a scarecrow pushing his, so I'm guessing not. He's not dead. Now he is. Ooh boy. I may have been mistaken about the 303 theory. Might need something a little more powerful. What about the lag on Xbox? I think they're working on that. Is that a dead gator? It is cool. Another gator. There are areas that are absolutely infested, that's for sure. Double tap? Definitely needed it. That cog needs some milk. He just about got away. <laughs> Mini Savage, thank you for the super chat. There is no bow fishing. I saw Didi said something about that. That would have been a pretty cool aspect, but I don't know. There's there's so much that has to happen to get that right, and there's so much potential for things to go horribly wrong. I think if they wanted to do like a, a fishing fishing game or a bow fishing game, that's fine, but probably not in Call of the Wild. Are you different? Dark brown, look at that. I like that a lot. I was told that that was a variation they can have. Okay, so both single lung shots. Kind of makes sense because we were getting some double lungs. Almost heart shot him. But yeah, we were getting some double lungs with the 7 mil. I don't know. Maybe we're just going to go straight to the muzzleloader. I do think the muzzleloader would be a good option. We'll keep on uh, running through for the moment. Get reloaded too. Uh, Asian Persuasion, what a name. Thank you for the super chat. Got my first diamond last night. It was a pretty nice moose. I think a, a diamond moose is actually really cool first. A lot of people back in the day had diamond moose as their first ones, as they were like a little more plentiful, but now I would say they're sort of properly rare. Where's Rascal Brown at? I hear it. Where you at? Oh, God. Did that not hit? Kind of terrifying. Uh, Get back here. Uh, Colton, thank you for the super chat. You got your third great one on Sunday. I still only have one. I was like one of the first to ever get a great one, and I have like the fewest great ones out of anybody that's been grinding for them now. <laughs> Go figure. That's insane, dude. Was that your third great one? Red Deer, third great one overall? Smoked pool? I think that might have to be the move. Gotta say, raccoons are the best addition. When they said they were including raccoons, I was like, yeah, that's stupid. They could have probably come up with something better. And then I saw them and I really liked them, and now I'm glad they did. That happened with feral goats in Hunter Classic. When they originally, like they said there's a new species coming to Bush Rangers, and there's all the all these theories. There, it's gonna be sandbar deer, uh, axis deer, fallow deer, and then it was feral goats, and everyone's like, oh. Not, not cool. And then they ended up being one of my favorite species done on that map. Uh. All of the super chats have come through. Uh, Mini Savage, thank you again. When will it be out for PC? And can a normal person play it right now? I am a normal person. Um, so I believe the release date is December 7th. Just from what they've said on stream, they did not provide us with a release date to give you guys, which they've done in the past. So I'm not sure, you know, if they said it on stream, surely. Um, go with that, but can a normal person play it right now? Basically, EW gives their official community content creators an opportunity to play the the new maps, new content usually, like the Bloodhounds too, um, in early access for sometimes a couple of days, sometimes a week. I'm, I guess this one's going to be close to a week, assuming the release date is in fact the 7th. Uh, and from the way they've kind of explained it to me, it's number one, like an opportunity to build a little bit of hype for a new map or, or new content of the game in general. 
And number two, they said it's kind of like a thank you to the creators for, you know, helping the game through such uh, exposure. But yeah, um, it's just the creators in early access right now. And there was another one in there, Lane's Games, thank you as well. I think they need to add trail cameras. How do you feel about that? I think they should add trail cameras and then get a trail camera company to sponsor me because I want like 12. I literally, so we have 14 acres here and there's not that much room, but I want to have trail cameras, I swear on every tree because I just want to figure out where the deer are going. Snow helps. Got some tracks. I think I have an idea of where they're trying to go through. Anyway, um, I think it could work. I think it would be tough to implement in a game properly, but if they could do it, it could be such a game changer. Had family supper, so I'm late, but I made it. Glad you can make it, dude. And good to spend time with family. Priority is there for sure. What I miss? That being set on all platforms, December seventh. They get it. Oh, did you but, know that? Yes, I've been saying that this entire time. You should have told me. I've been typing it. That's why I told you this. Well, yeah, but you should have said out loud <laughs> when someone asked. No one listens to me. What do you mean? I would have if you told me is what I'm saying. <laughs> now I know. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. It's a decent book. Okay. Spinal cord works too. What do you think of this map? I like it. It's... So I said earlier, it's got kind of a rancho feel in that it seems almost anywhere you go, you're running into something. It might just be rabbits, it might just be raccoons, it might just be quail. But it seems like there's a lot less dead areas than some of the other maps. Dark brown. Cool. But yeah, th there's that aspect to it, of it, and another, I think, important thing is the challenge of the gators. I really think that makes it to where, you know, you can't just assume... I don't know, w when you spot a level 9 gator, when you spot a potential rare gator, that doesn't mean that you are, you know, you're not set now. You gotta make like a perfect shot or they can get away. I really like that challenge aspect. And I think that's gonna make for probably some frustration. It's bound to happen. Um, but also some of the adrenaline that I think has been missing from hunting for diamonds. The only way that, I mean, so like say a diamond red fox that we spent a long time grinding for. That's always intense. If you mess that up, you know, it, it might be a long time to see another one. But when it came to some of the other diamonds that were more common, it was more so just like, all right, there's a, there's a, I don't know, what do we have a bunch of? There's a level five feral goat. Guess I'll shoot that like I shoot every other one. But yeah, like with gators, you mess it up, they're, they're gone. It's, it's more interesting. Speaking of gone, like that one. Oh. Doing other things. Just disc. How much for your PC right now? Twelve bucks. It's it's dying on me slowly. I need to ask Psycho because I cleaned out the um the vents. Like I you know, took it apart, cleaned the fan, cleaned the vents, got some dust out of there. I thought that was the issue with the performance, but it has helped with the noise, the fan's been pretty much fine, but not so much as far as fixing the frame issues, I guess, on streams and even in videos. <laughs> Great, thank you for the super chat, man. Do they have ducks on this map or no? They do not. Um, they have quail. I'm kind of surprised they didn't add ducks, but then again... We do have a, a good number of ducks. We also have a good number of rabbits, and here we are. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, I think maybe we could see other ones added eventually. They intend to do, like, a waterfowl rework. So maybe then we'll see a new uh, new species come. Does someone ask if my first time it was a must I saw Billy said that it was. I'm going to grab the muzzle litter and see if that's better. I... I would like to admit that I was wrong with my theory on the 303 there. All oh, the scrolling, good lord. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Thanks to the fact that we have the 22 Hornets. At least 
We have the room. 12 bucks. Oof. Drive a hard bargain. Uh, that's not a part of Gator Lakes, but this is. Let's go to this one then. 1.3 kilometers. That didn't look that far. Hope there's other stuff to find. Have you eaten Gator? Only once in the... Is it Memphis where that uh, Bass Pro Shops pyramid is? I think so. My brother and I, we went to Texas uh, almost two years ago. No, almost three years ago. Wow. Time flies. It was... No. It must have been almost two years ago because it was literally... We went to the last rodeo before they um, canceled or whatever because of COVID. The last one in Houston there. The next day it got canceled, so we, we timed that good. But anyway, on our drive home, we stopped in uh, Memphis at that Big Bass Pro and had whatever kind of... I think it was Cajun Fried Gator, something like that. It was good. I liked it. Bears. I am such a fan of what they've done. I think they are so much better looking than they used to be. Boy, that was a... <laughs> I didn't enjoy getting shot, did it? <laughs> Pepsi or Cherry Pepsi? I don't much care for either, to be completely honest. Probably Cherry Pepsi if I had to choose one. What do you think is the hardest animal to get a diamond of? Most of the small predators, I think, are tough. Dusky? Oh my god, look at that. That's cool looking. There's no... I love that. I need a diamond. I don't care about color phase anymore. I want this one. Mm -hmm. I'm taxing this. Just take a screenshot of it. You're probably not going to get a better reaction out of me out of anything on this map. <laughs> I'm so excited for that. I hope the males can be that. I haven't seen a male bear on this map yet. I don't know where they are. This I have a feeling it's going to be Silver Ridge PC. There's going to be some areas where bears are just insane. That looked amazing. I'm so excited. These are the... I think basically commons now. Why do you not answer me? Uh, there are 1,600 people in chat, and I'm doing my best to get through everything, but I just simply cannot read fast enough. It's not really needy. It's not cute. I'm lucky I can read at a third grade level, to be honest. I'm now excited to play again. Dusky Mail. Was it because of the Dusky Mail? Because I think... <sighs> they're going to be on all the maps. So maybe I won't do a Black Bear Ground here. It's going to be like, um, like Rancho, I would assume. So, like, the Mule Deer, the Bighorn, all them on Rancho look new. They also looked, you know, they got those same changes on the the old maps they were on. I mean, they just look so cool. I really, really like them. The running one looks like a sun bear, which is undoubtedly the best species of bear. The one that I shot there. This preserve is big. Yeah, they said that on stream today. It does look small when you first look at this map. Like, oh, there's not that much room to hunt. No, it's huge. <laughs> it is massive. It might be bigger than some of the other ones. Uh, ooh, wonder what's down here. Let's go down here after this. I, I'm very curious. Seven kilometers? Eh, it's about the same size as other maps then. Panda bears superior. Panda bears. I learned this due to you guys in the streams. They're apparently not the most intelligent. Didn't realize they overhauled the species so much. Yeah, you know, there was a couple of comments today, and it's fair enough, because in some aspects, they're not wrong. There were a couple of comments today on today's video saying, like, eh, they just, you know, reskinned, like, seven species and added two new ones. Well, first of all, um, they just got Rancho out on console, like, four months ago. No, three, right? Wasn't it close to the end of August? What? When did Rancho come out? Wait. I don't know if this thing doesn't misfire anymore. <laughs> anyway, Rancho console, when did that happen? I feel like I it was know. sometime two tones. What are you? I must know. There's all these new things and I want to find them all. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it's impressive they've got a new map ready to go this year after the way Rancho went. But there's all these new variations and I promise that's not easy. That doesn't take five minutes make a new variation of these animals with the new skins and stuff. I don't think I've got to track that fox. It's going to take too long. The last one took forever. Like, it, even with all the species that were in the game, they've got 
these different changes to them, and I think they're so far all positive changes. What is Whitetail Drink Time for Rancho? Actually, by the way, it's the same as here on uh, Mississippi Acres, 8 to 11 uh, in the morning. Any luck this stream? I had a couple of cool variation. Um, I guess mostly bears, but yeah, we've, we've seen some seen some gators. Got some interesting interactions with gators as well. I'm thinking this is a region called Gator Lakes. Now they seem to be resting right now, which might be good. I would assume they're going to be more along the banks, although I see no such gators. I don't forget to go elsewhere. We will, but um, yeah, I don't think no diamonds, no rares so far. Re-rendering and up must be a real pain just to get the fur to look better. Yeah, I mean, when, when it already looked pretty good, but you have to appreciate that they're doing that. Um, I'm sure, like you said, it's no easy process. But it's it's not only, you know, helping a map like this. Now, and they said they did for improvements to all species, so I'm really curious what some of them are. But now some of your your other maps. Maybe you're, maybe you're bored of, like, Medved, because everything was the same. Well, now now there's some potential differences. I really wonder with Brown Bear. If Black Bear got these changes, I bet I bet Brown Bear have a potential of seeing some new stuff, too. Did they ever fix the Weird Lion's main texture? I don't know. I think that was a console problem, so I, I, I'm not sure that I've seen it. Do the gators scare other animals away? I can only assume they do because Rascal growls at them and he'll only growl at predators. And as far as I know, only predators that chase other animals away. Uh, does he growl at bears? Bears don't chase things, right? I might be incorrect about that. I need to, I need to confirm. I would assume though the gators would scare stuff. This man is the best. Second best. I pointed at Kyle and she shook her head now. Wrong. Actual gray wolf fur types? Oh, true. Very true. Gator versus... Do you mean 6.5 or 7 mil? I, I was using the 7 mil earlier. Where are the things? I see no things. It was still a worthwhile run because we got the dusky bear and that got me... Super hyped to actually go and spend time chasing them, but I don't think they're here. All right, let's go see what's in the southeast. Ooh, that's gonna be a run. Quite <laughs> the run. Kyla's a man. You didn't know? No. <laughs> no, People probably not. Think on your sister. I don't know. Even thinking on a man. You could sing that Taylor Swift song. <laughs> copyright, copyright. Yeah, I'll get struck again. Make nothing. Golly. Do you think of the super chat, by the way? Can you see if the 22 Hornet and LR have the same pen? Yeah, I have DMO for both here. Let's take a look. 22 Hornet Palmer tip. 15 expansion 3. I heard a gator. Uh, 22 soft point 7 and 10. LR is 5 and 10. So in theory, the soft point should be okay. So actually, yeah, it, it makes sense that the polymer's not that good. Soft point might be better. I, I gotta test that. Uh, Krim Krim, thank you for becoming a channel member, by the way. I really appreciate that. Um, if you're not already in the Discord, be sure to join that. Link up your YouTube. Get the member role. Get all that good stuff that comes along with the role. Enjoy the green name and emojis in chat as well. So for the new fur variations, fur types, whatever, is it just this map, or now is it every species that it's not common anymore? As far as I can tell, every species is not going to have commons anymore. So I think, like my great one, Whitetail in the Lodge, and this is, it's basically my main game save, and I can explain that again if anybody's uh, confused on that. I mentioned a couple times earlier in the stream, but I think my great one, which was just common, is now a tan. It's like a lighter brown. So white tail like a dark brown, a red brown, I think just a brown and a tan, which all were just, just different looking variations of what was just called common. 
and it seems all species have that now, which is, I think that's really cool. Um, it's, <laughs> it also may cause a little bit of frustration in a really weird way, like, I don't know, save for Whitetail. I actually prefer the darker looking Whitetail for the Bucks, and my Great One's a tan, so like I could, I could, uh, you know, just wish I got a different variation, whereas before, you know, it's a common, whatever, I don't even hardly pay attention to it. Just the way it's listed could uh, be annoying, but that is what it is. Oh, I was gonna, I was about to say I don't care about this gator anymore, but then I was like, ah, muzzle litter, I wanna try it. Uh, Eddie, thank you for the super chat. Will the reskin mess up tax animals? I don't think so. I'm hoping not. I haven't seen any issues. I've been in my lodge and not noticed anything weird. Only issue is the Hornet is bolt action, whereas the LR is semi auto, so follow up shots would be harder to take on multiple animals. Yeah, I think especially. I attempted to shoot some quail yesterday with the 22 and it did not go well. I don't know where this thing is. Sometimes I get impatient with these creatures that are low to the ground. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the bolt action not being able to take super quick. That was a very small gator. I hear it. Where are you at? Is he coming this way? He is. Hi. We got one chance to get this right. Did we do it? Nope. Hang on. I have a question. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior 12? <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Hold on, I'm almost ready. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wonder what level that was. I haven't even seen a track that small. That was a fun time. Anyway, that right here is where I got across anyway, so that was necessary. What do I hear? Is that rascal or is that gator still here? Wait, I see you. <laughs> Little level four. No, that's a shotgun. All right, try this again. Can we get along that time? That's better. All right, I have the same question <laughs> before you leave. You better not die after all this. Or at least die before you get submerged. Not gonna lie, I'm not so sure the muzzleloader is just the automatic solution. How did you get over there? I don't know about that. They go back to the spot where you hit them. Yeah, but what? They respawn? Oh, that's weird. I think I've noticed that watching some videos. Oh. Uh, well, okay. That's Daddy old. Interesting. He would, he would think that they were gone, and then they'd float back up when he like, turned around. Okay. That'll be good to look out for. Uh, Layton, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Love the biz, keep up. I will definitely do my best. I appreciate that. Our local representative, Stan Potts, would like a moment of your time to talk about the Holy Twelve. Give me a sec. When does this come out on Xbox? Uh, should be December 7th. What do you think about the Steelers' defense? They have a defense. I haven't seen it in the last two weeks. That's what I think about their defense. They look like rubber gators? I think in the harvest screen they do a little bit, but it's because they have that shine. Turkeys, I haven't seen many of these guys yet. Come here, I have a 22 for you. Oh boy. Usually, <laughs> the other nah. maps with turkeys, it is open enough. A lot of times you can run at them before they spook. I don't know that that's going to be working real good on this map. Um, we had James with the super chat once again. My grandkids and I love your channel. Is this the map that re-energized nah. your enthusiasm for this game? I'd say at the moment it has, actually re-energize my enthusiasm and it's like I've talked about this before um EW does a pretty good job of kind of spacing out their new releases to where about the time that I'm starting to maybe feel like the game's getting stale I don't feel like I have that much stuff to go for you know maybe I've found the diamonds and rares that I want to get over the course of the months since the last release it's about then when new stuff comes out and They've done it again with, with this map, and I think it's it's pretty much perfect timing in my mind. Danny, by the way, thank you again. Next try, 454, if you can, easy heart, maybe? 
Maybe. I think uh, it's difficult to get within 75 meters and having to aim high might be a little frustrating. Look at this meadow. Somebody also said, there's bunnies. Anyway, somebody also said there's no green fields. It sucks. I was like, well, I haven't even explored this map, but glad you know. <laughs> Pinned comments. Whoa. By the way, I think it's the females that make, uh, I almost said make rabbit, make diamonds for these. I'm gonna, here's a question. How does this work? If I zero for 150, is it like the other 22? No, it's not. It's a little more dead on. I will get it. No, I won't. I tried. Hard to believe Taya World came out this time last year. I can't even decide. It feels like it's been longer than a year to me. Not the same. No, it's a different turkey. I figured these meadows would be good for them. A couple more bunnies over there. Seems like they kind of travel in pairs. Which is probably good. <laughs> because on Layton, for instance, the white-tailed jackrabbits, they're, they're in these huge groups. So you run into them and you see them everywhere. But then you go like, you know, a couple hundred meters and there's none. That's a thicker one. All right, I'm gonna aim dead on. <laughs> nope, that was so far away that I didn't even spook it. 250, all right, we're just gonna go into 150 and take a shot that way as they are now traveling. Why do you do this? Um, who we got there? Grant Floyd with the super chat as well, thank you, man. Do gators go aggro? Also, you should bow hunt them. I definitely intend to attempt something like that. There's a turkey walking by, let's see if we can get something with this 22. That worked a little better. And of course, spook the rabbits, but what do you do? Um, as for gators being aggressive, they, I'm guessing they will, I've not seen it, but most species, as far as like aggression goes, they don't go aggressive until you get like really close to them and almost like surprise them. I'm guessing that's how it's gonna work. Um, we had D fish in there as well. I've been playing for a while now and I still don't get the levels. Like, why do red deer go to 9, but elk go to 5? I think I kind of had this, like, the same confusion early on when I got started in Call of the Wild. And my my best answer is I probably wouldn't worry too much about, you know, why they are the levels that they are. And just kind of try to understand, like, what levels to look out for for, like, potential diamonds. I could see that turkey just barely moving around in there I can't now anyway like it's just a difficulty thing and I'm not quite sure why they decided red deer need to go to there it is uh, red deer need to go to nine whereas elk only need to go to five I, I guess it's supposed to be how difficult it is to hunt them in real life that didn't work too good did it Might need to, with the 22 Hornet, use those nah. soft point rounds. I think I might equip them. See if that... Excuse me. Thank you. See if that helps. Uh, Weston the Bot, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate the support, man. It just died. That was terrible. Poor thing. Didn't deserve that. Whoa. Look how blue it is. So, Eastern turkeys have like a... It's almost a diamond, by the way. They have like a coppery color in the feathers and you can see that reflection when you spin it that's pretty neat I like it another one dead here somewhere too what's up quartz can't stick around but hope you're here loving the map I definitely am dude I, I really am enjoying it and uh, I will do my best to keep it up I have a rabbit named Luna and he's white and black I had a rabbit growing up I thought that was cool Having a rabbit. I enjoyed that. Does he have a longer tail than it looks like? Are you on TikTok? I'm not on TikTok. Kyla shows me such things. But if you've seen that trend, I want to know if all rabbit tails are like that or if it's a certain breed. What's that, sweetness? Turkey bacon is the best? I haven't had turkey bacon in a long time. We used to always because um, the, the normal kind, pork bacon, I guess, uh, it's, I, I made my dad sick, I think, 
I don't know. I was young, and that was the explanation I got. But, uh... Yeah, we used to have it a lot. It was good. I'll get some again. One of these days. Been playing with the manual bolt recently, and it adds just the tiniest bit more immersion that makes me enjoy the game more. You know, I've often tried to do that. Um, way back in the day, when I was doing just the Hunter Classic content, so this would be pre-2017 at least, I had a couple of friends that made what I thought were really cool montages in Classic, and I only say what I thought because I'm sure other people may have other opinions, but they were, in my opinion, really good. One thing they often did was use that manual bolt a little later after the shot and just added something to the montages. So I, I tried to do some of that and, I don't know, a couple of times of missing out on a shot because I didn't have a round chamber and that was the end of that. Do you think they're going to add trail cameras? Maybe one day. Is that a bear? It's a deer. Same thing. That's a bear. Still females. I don't know where the male black bears are. What variation are you? You look different. That white flower got me. Hype for a second. Listen, dude. I don't appreciate you not giving me a broadside shot. We've been doing good with the bears. That's working real well. Just say next Tuesday? Well, I don't know. It doesn't know. matter what you say. Yeah. You could say a day from now and they're still gonna ask. So, I mean, it's just one of those things. I should add, it is not a day from now, by the way. <laughs> December 7th. Still next Tuesday. I have friends? I don't think so. I'm not aware of these people. How you like the new map? Dude, I'm really, really enjoying it. There's a lot of little aspects as well that are... You know, it's, it's from the old species. Here's a good example right here with a black bear look at this dusky variation is that not like the coolest looking black bear i really really hope that males can have it now and they you know they're 90 percent of this is like a common from the past but the way they redid the head it's just i don't know it's 10 times better in my opinion when does it come out to pc should it be december 7th as well i like the ambient sounds on this map Cannot touch this map? Yeah, technically, I, I gotta ask. See if that's allowed. But technically, like, only certain people have permission to play, and I'm really not trying to break, like, a, you know, a contract or whatever it's called. Snarky Kyla is a mood. Never. When am I snarky? <laughs> I've never seen such things. Never. Nope. Black bear multi mount. I wish there was one. I got, I got confused when I was reading through the multi mounts yesterday, and I thought there was a bear hug one for the black bears, and I was so excited. But it's just the grizzly bear one. I wonder what drinks here. Something surely. Obviously nothing at the current moment, but any tracks? Maybe bears. Shoot a gator. We shot a bunch of gators earlier. I'm sure we're going to go back. Um, actually, fairly soon. I'd like to go and check another area for them. It's just there's so much of this map to explore in quite limited time. But the good news is um, the intention is to just basically keep on doing this. Streams for, you know, about two hours in the evenings um, after hunting. It's funny. I was thinking this earlier. Uh... We basically canceled the Wednesday Twitch streams until further notice because they were too late, being 7.30 to 9.30. And now here I am streaming on YouTube 7.30 to 9.30, but I guess the difference is, like, I don't have to also make a video for Thursday now. I can just stream again tomorrow. So, that's the plan. I like it. It's, it's uh, I think it's going to be fun to do something a little different like that. Oh, white tail down here. We're just too late. Interesting. Uh, Caden, thank you for the super chat, by the way. I appreciate the support. How's the Hornet? It's been good. I want to test these soft point uh, rounds because one thing I noticed is that the polymer tips are a good bit weaker, it seems, than the 22 long rifle. Somebody asked me to look at the 
stat differences. So you look at the penetration and expansion. 15 penetration is fantastic, but 3 expansion is not. The long rifle has 10 expansion, and that's exactly what the soft point rounds have. Now the long rifle actually has a little less penetration, so you would think the 22 Hornet's going to be, you know, with those soft point bullets, fantastic for, you know, your ducks, geese, stuff like that. And say you want to shoot a fox. Probably grab the polymer tips if it takes a long time to die, so be it. As long as you get that long, it should be all good. Fix Apex Connect where? Is it actually broken? I don't know what's going on with all that. Do you know? Apex Connect. I don't know what they've said on streams. I've been hunting or sleeping. I don't know if it's been fixed yet, but I know that Apex, since the whole Epic Game thing came about, the whole free thing, it got oh. overloaded. They said 10 million new players through Epic? Yeah. That is insane. So, I don't, I'm honestly not sure. I haven't checked Discord all day to see if it's back up, but... It's going to be pretty crazy when Kylie hits 10 million subscribers when all those new people subscribe to her channel for her fellow Deer Good. What are you talking about? What is it? No. <laughs> no? Stop. <laughs> I don't even have a guide on there. Uh-huh. You weirdo. No one wants to You weirdo. <laughs> with everything else going on. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go look for gators again. I don't know. Is your mic off or do you not have one? What? I don't understand. Play with KG Gaming. I don't think our, that's a cool picture. I don't think our content styles would mesh that well. Um, I respect what he's doing and he's definitely, you know, he's one of those, um, I'll say creators, I guess. That's probably the best overarching word. One of the creators with like a, a large following from something else that has also done Call of the Wild, and that obviously does good things for Call of the Wild, but I just, I don't know. I can't imagine our styles meshing good. That was good English. I don't think our styles will mesh good. What is it? You're doing great. Thanks, man. A grown man, 12 inches tall. <laughs> I've been here forever, but never knew who Kyla is. She your sister. She is not. She is my girlfriend. Not my sister. No. Imagine having the most supportive sister who's at every stream. That would be insane. <laughs> Tight-knit family that would be. Looks like they did a good job creating what hunting looks like in Mississippi. Yeah, I think they did pretty good. The environment's really nice. Um, the animal models, I've I've been so impressed. Every quail I've shot, like I'm looking at, like these look really cool. I'm glad they added them. Gators obviously are fantastic. The rabbits, I think they're the most unique looking rabbit species in the game. Like they've got their short ears. They've got like the different head to body ratio. I don't know how to describe that. They are different than most of the rabbits that we see. Um, the wild hogs, like, I didn't expect them to be different from feral pigs, but they are. And I'm curious, did they change feral pigs too? I haven't had the time to go to Teoroa and look. I hope they kept the old models from feral pigs and left the wild hogs, obviously, as they are. It just, you know, adds some variety there. All those kinds of things. I knew that would happen, tacos. Listen. Roll Tide. Excuse me? <laughs> I knew that would be, uh... What? What? Uh-uh. No? You, you sleep in the other bed tonight. Yeah? Roll Tide. No! <laughs> They're not even good. What? <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm enjoying your level of frustration over college football that you definitely watch. You can every mod week. your own stream now. Yeah. Okay. 
I'll do my best. Hands free. Hold on tight to your chair. <laughs> you look like you're about to <laughs> blast off the space. <laughs> Splinters in the doghouse tonight? Yeah, I really did it with that one. I just, I didn't want to make the same reference in singing the song, so I wanted to make a different reference to being from Alabama, and that's, that was it. Did I miss, I saw a couple Super Chats came through, I think, uh, <laughs> there we go, Streamlabs is being a little delayed. Zach and Caden, thank you guys. Uh, what's up, uh, what's going on, Zach? Can't wait to hunt this new map, as it's just like the land of hunt IRL. See, that's really cool. I don't really have anything quite like PA in Call of the Wild. This is probably the closest thing, and it's not, you know, no uh, invaders. Um, I think that's a really neat thing, like what, because Whiteheart, Southern Whiteheart in Classic is kind of like PA. Getting to hunt places in games that are similar to real life is just such a a fun experience. I think that'll be really cool. And uh, Caden as well, I'm drunk, but I love your videos. I like that you're a hunter like me. Come to 10 point in my 30 odd six. I need to get more like you and do that. That's awesome, man. Congrats. Something wrong with Alabama? Is there? This is a thing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Georgia, so of course I'm a UGA fan. That's just how it goes. You're so... a huge what fan? What? I'm Shut up! <laughs> so, Georgia... And Alabama don't mix well and they're always rivals so it's just in my blood to not like Alabama now when they're not playing Georgia I can appreciate Alabama <laughs> but I got gotcha. you Georgia's doing well this year are they still ranked number one I believe they are I don't know but <gasps> you know, they need to whoop but because it's about time it's All about right. time Rant over. I'm done. That was hilarious. <laughs> Leaned into the mic and everything. Well, I don't know if they can hear me from I, here. I'm sure they heard that. Oh. 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 Why does Auburn always do good against Bama but nothing else? That's what I told him. Yeah, I watched that game. I was like, oh, Auburn almost beat them. And I guess that's just, a, is it a rivalry thing when they just play close games? Literally, every time they play, it is always close. And it's crazy because sometimes Auburn can be really good. Or sometimes they can be trash. But when they uh, play Alabama, it's like crazy good. That used to be the case with um, Steelers-Ravens. It was three-point games. It doesn't matter if the Steelers were finishing like 12 and 4 every year and the Ravens were around 500. It was always close games. They, they just understood each other really well. Uh, Ashley, thank you for the super chat. Dude, love watching your videos. I'm finally able to catch a stream. Been hunting all last week and you got me super into this game. Well, I'm glad to uh, have gotten into the game. I really, I really like seeing that. Seeing people get interested in the game uh, from watching the videos and streams and. Uh, Hope you've had better luck hunting than I have in the last couple of days. Your girlfriend's from Georgia, that's so cool. You are as well. Nice. By the way, love the new app? So do I. I I'm really enjoying hunting out here. I gotta find where all the gators are. I don't know where the, the big males are hiding. Imagine being a Bama fan. I, I do recall the kick six. Who was it against? I've seen the play. I forget what you pointed out already. Sorry. Oh, it was Bridge Scroll up. So, is this hinting at Kyla in Flinter College Football Podcast? I'd love to do an NFL one. I don't follow college closely enough. I've genuinely thought about doing some kind of uh. NFL thing. I don't know. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I think, uh... I have enough interest in it to where it'd be similar to this. It wouldn't be work in the same aspect as, you know, a nine to five or whatever would be. Maybe one day. Kick six wins against Auburn. Okay. I did not know the team. Like I said, I don't really follow it. Um, I just usually... I've started watching more games or listening to more games, especially when I drive home from 
my parents like if I hunt on my own I'll just a lot of times like on a Saturday turn a college football game on actually I'll put it on my phone but then listen to it through the car or through the truck speakers as if it's on the radio I think I missed uh Caden hell yeah GA all the way I'm from GA look at this got a whole homecoming here <laughs> Fantasy football podcast? I need I need you on that because you I think you know more fantasy football than I do. Clearly though, if you watched our score from the other week, you'd think we're the bottom two in the league. That was terrible. 80 points. Thank God the Bears won against the Lions. Yeah, the Steelers. Oh, never mind. Tie the Lions. Backup quarterback. That was that was the beginning of the uh. end. I don't know. Kill any trash pandas yet? We shot a blonde female one as our first kill of the stream. There is nothing up here. Hmm. I'm tempted to go down here. Looks nice. We got gators here. Okay, let's do that. It looks good. Kylo needs to educate you on college football. I'd have, I'd have a hard time really getting into college football because I just you get the teams that have the pro level talent and they just beat all the teams that don't whereas if you know in the NFL all the teams have pro level talent and especially this year my god if any given Sunday has ever been more relevant I mean you've got these absurd upsets a couple of weeks ago, the underdogs were like 9-2 and two or something insane. Why do you use the metric system if you live in the best country in the U.S.? It's actually a pretty simple um, explanation. So, the Hunter Classic, which was called the Wild's predecessor essentially, only had the metric system. There was no option to use the Imperial units. And most of the weights of animals kind of are the same in both games. So, you know, Whitetail, 100 kg both games. Um, Blacktail, 95. Moose, 620. Elk, 500. Same in both. And rather than relearning in pounds, I just kind of stuck with the metric. And also, it's it's the, uh, the game's meant, clearly, for metric. Like, you've got these nice 25, 50, 75 as your range. 200, 150, 100. If you get a Yards is just like weird numbers that don't. They're not as nice, round, simple numbers anyway. Ohio losing to Michigan was the upset that I couldn't believe. Didn't Michigan just lose to someone not good? Was it Michigan State? Uh, Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Not good might not be the phrase, but a, a team they should have beaten. Uh, the Impala, thank you for the super chat. What would be your dream map on Call of the Wild? What would be my dream map on Call of the Wild? Um, you know, I would. In the past, I probably would have said a winter map with a whitetail. Like, maybe a. A Yukon Valley when it snows level of snow on the map. Like, not that much. And, like, rutting whitetail behavior. But, I don't know. We've got whitetail on. This is the third map now. I'm not so sure that would actually be. Uh, as exciting anymore? Hmm. Another Africa map I really want. Please don't tell me Flinch is leaving Call of the Wild for Madden. Dude, I played... When Madden 22 had their free weekend, I played a lot. And... I don't... There's no competition on PC, really. Because it was literally over that free weekend I got into, like, top 300 in the competitive. And I was like, okay. I don't think I'm gonna pay for this. Because I'm never gonna find a match, basically. I enjoy Madden a lot. I enjoy competitive gaming in general. Um, but yeah, it's not not for me. I don't think I could do competitive commentary very well. Look at all these little birds. You really have to just spot everything or, or just shoot them, I guess. It's also an option. wonder what the odds are that we hit that. Africa 2.0 with... Elephants, hippos, and crocs? Man, if they did elephants, people would be so excited. I don't know how they could really do that, and then, you know, you get to the trophy lodge aspect of all that. 
I don't know how that would work, but it'd be cool. I, I've always, it was the same thing with lions. Um, there's an aspect of like they're not really hunted in real life, like conservation and all that. It, it's not necessarily the best, but the gamer in me, <laughs> yeah, I want to shoot an elephant. Yeah, <laughs> so if they'd add them, I'd be all for it. Uh, Eddie, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Thoughts on EW not adding waterfowl on this map yet? You know, you look at it, it, it feels like a map that should have waterfowl. At least there's quail, like at least there's a bird species. There's supposed to be a waterfowl rework uh, early 2022, is that what they said? Mm. Well, it might be mid, actually. Okay. I, I saw TK middle. No. All right. Um, and, you know, maybe if they wanted to do a waterfowl rework and they tend to do this map, it wouldn't make sense to have them and then do the rework later. So maybe once they do the rework, they'll add them. Uh, I do wish they did, but <laughs> that is what it is. I would legit be happy if they put them in the game, but you couldn't hunt them. But everybody would be trying to shoot them. Just imagine how frustrated people would be. The rage. The rage. Are you also a Pirates fan, Penguins fan? I mean, as much as I can be. I don't really... I don't watch hockey ever, and I just watch the occasional baseball game. I got to be a Brace fan, kind of. Because Kyle was a Brace fan. That was fun. I didn't watch Game 7. I watched a little bit of one of the games. I think I was prepping for... something. Hunting-wise. I don't even remember what. Anyway. Finished my video and went to look at... Well, I, did they win in 5? Win in 6? I forget. I think it was 4-2, so they must have won in 6. Just checked and saw they won, and it was it was cool. Uh, Krim Krim, by the way, thank you for the super chat once again. What's the best way to get a gator? Also, like the videos because I watch them while working. Well, I hope they can make your work days go a little quicker. The best way to get a gator? There's certain areas where they are just infested. Um, up through here, we had a ton, but generally, it seems like their rest times are best because you can lose them so easily in the water, uh, whereas on land, I think we're pretty much everyone we've shot we've claimed. Do you like the Minnesota Wild? I don't even know what league that is. Do you? It's not the NBA. It must be hockey, surely. Because isn't NBA like the Timberwolves or something? I don't know. Ironically, not around the place called Gator Lakes. Yeah, that wasn't that good. There, there were a few, but I didn't see that many. Got like seven minutes. Uh, that's the plan anyway. Seven minutes left in the stream. I hope we can get down to this area and see what's around. There's got to be some. When is this map released? December 7th. Hockey. Hey. I guess you're right. Since this is on your main save, are you placing tents? Oh, I <laughs> probably should be. I have not yet. Yeah, you should set it to my time and try to look for gators. I think I'd like to do that for a video. I just don't know when videos are going to happen. Okay, thunder's fine. Uh, Alex, thank you for the super chat. What species are on the map? I'll see if I can name them all. If I forget one, I apologize. Obviously, we have the alligators, we've got raccoons, we've got wild hogs, black bear, whitetail, eastern cottontail rabbits, eastern turkeys, bobwhite quail, and gray fox. I think there's nine, and I think that's the nine. Got an albino moose last night on Yukon, that's really cool. This is a probably dumb sounding question, but was it snowing at the time? I just think albino moose look amazing in the snow. And I may be partial due to the albino diamond on Medved back in the day. Are you gonna hunt Trax Kudu? Probably closer to the end of the week. Uh, Friday, Saturday, potentially. The gator's eyes glow at night. They even glow in the daylight. It's re <laughs> really creepy looking. This is interesting. I hope there's nothing in here though. What a pain that would be. Oh. So much for that. What? Been looking for you for a while. Of course, straight downwind. Probably going to be hard to find. 
rabbit trap. Boy, they would just... I mean, you'd have to kick them out, basically. That'd be the only way to get them out of here. Do you ever see small game dogs coming to the game? Also, what about squirrels and morning dove? So, one of the ambient sounds I've noticed on this map is morning doves, which I think is cool. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe there's a chance we'll see the actual animals themselves, not just the sounds. Small game dog, I mean, we might see them. I think the bloodhounds were generally popular. I also think the general consensus is they're not useful enough. So if they were to do, you know, some kind of new dog breed, they'd have to probably work on the utility. Good job, Billy. Another gator. Where are you at, though? It's amazing. Something that is like 600 pounds. And, well, the females aren't as big. But, you know, many feet long. There it goes. And they just hide so well. What are the ducks they're adding? They actually are not adding any ducks to this map. Ooh. Came out of here, huh? Imagine running through this stuff and getting just chomped by a gator. Terrifying. Uh, Bash, thank you for the super chat and the sticker. Really appreciate it. Now, oh, we're never going to make it over that outpost from there. That might be one where we go another time. Let's see what's around. Do we find a place that's only female gators? We might have. And hogs. I'd like to just get out on the water where we can see a little better instead of chasing one that we can't see. Humans have a stronger bite force than coyotes? I didn't know that. I want to thank you for doing the whitetail grinds, or guides probably. Uh, they've helped me get two diamond whitetails. Nice, Jackson. Glad they've been helpful to you. Good old Mississippi Acres. Maybe my new favorite map, you think so? I, it probably doesn't have the antlers to be officially my favorite, but it at the moment is pretty high on the list for me. I think they did a really, really good job. Nice diamond raccoon, by the way. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Billy is awesome. Billy is a champ. All right. Figures. Get where we can see and there's no gators. Should have placed a tent in that really good... Hello there. Seven, 12 miles away? How on earth like that is over by the Alpos? Hmm. Might be difficult to make our way over there. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna try. Uh... Wow. I... <laughs> I don't know about this. I don't know where we can potentially cross. I saw another one. Where'd you go? For just a second, there was like a spot animal prompt. Went away. Can we get an updated trophy lodge? A trophy lodge tour? Or do you mean like EW should add a new lodge? Because I do feel as though we're about due for another lodge. It's been two years since the introduction of Saseka Safari. I, I want to say it was November of 2019. No, we can cross here. We're good. No big deal. Wait. Where are you? I know you're not submerged. I know you're hiding. I see it. I saw it, I should say. I can't spot it to know where to shoot. <laughs> Alright, well. Uh, Hunter M, thank you for the super chat. A goober is a peanut? Wait, is that true? How much longer is left in the stream? Probably just until we can uh, hopefully go and get that level 7 gator. There you are. Might have been a little back. Nope, don't swim. I don't like when you swim. Might have lost that one. Nope, 
it's back. Just floating. Do the gators attack? We've not seen it yet. I certainly have to assume they will. Um, my guess is that it'll be similar to the bear species. If you suddenly appear, you know, 10 meters from a bear and surprise them, they'll attack. Otherwise, they tend to kind of just flee, which is pretty much realistic. Uh, bears don't exactly just come at you from 50 meters away. I think all the streams will be on YouTube. Yeah, um... Unless, <laughs> unless things drastically change the way uh, our deer hunting luck has gone. Friday will probably be like a late YouTube stream as well. We'll probably hunt Friday unless we just kill, fill like six tags between uh, what tomorrow and Thursday. We'll just keep kind of keep on going with this kind of schedule. But I like it. I, I really enjoyed this one. Just shot a mountain stick mallard. Nice. Do I want some pizza? Uh... Not from your uh, establishment, I don't. <laughs> Odd question, but I think you could run two muzzle loaders that you can quickly swap to for taking gators. That might not be a bad idea. I kind of like that. Look at this one. I've noticed a lot of the outposts differ from one to the next. That's a. I want to live here. Oh, okay. I think. I don't know for sure. How do I find out? Do I just go in? I guess. Well, okay. <laughs> I don't know. There is just a boar there. And a whitetail there. That's where the legacy rack. Legacy. White tail there. See, it's funny. It's like a scaled down legacy rack, though. Like that, they were bigger than that. Is that how you get around your house? Just jump down. Hmm. I wonder if through the missions we can do that. That's a really, really smart idea. Like have little plaques inside these lodges. Like, why was that not already a thing? Good design choice. Whoever came up with that. Just your friend, friendly neighborhood goober. I can't even say it. I'm just your friendly neighborhood can't speak guy. Is that the seven? That's six. All right, well, we found a place with some male gators and it's right by a lodge, so for future hunts, if we need such gator experiences, we'll probably go here. Small, small indeed. I would like a chance at that seven. It was in a much more accessible area, I felt. Should have been right here in front of us, though, and I don't see or hear anything from it. I really don't want to have our last attempt at shooting a gator be a not kill it, so if we don't get this one, we'll find some other one, I hope. This is going to be extra tough, because the muzzleloader is a slow round. No, it's not something with a brain shot. I'm not sure if we were too far forward, too far back. Neither. Both. That's the track. It's a dark brown seven, too. I like the dark brown gators better. What are the odds that he is not in the water and simply runs out in front of us? What's up, Jinxie? Can't wait for the seventh. This map looks amazing. It really does. I think they did about as good a job as I could imagine with this. Like all the animal models, all these little changes to like the, the textures and the furs, the variations. I just think it's gonna be a, a fun map to play on that probably shouldn't get old as fast as some maps have. And that's about as important a factor as I can imagine. Oh no, Didi lost a diamond gator to the water. Oh no, kinda got protective, what did I miss? Someone's asking for a kiss, but I just deleted it because it was dumb. Um, but someone's asking how much would it cost to buy the entire game, like all of the DLCs, everything. Do you remember when we were looking? No. I have Steam closed because I was having some performance drugs, so I can't go and look right now. I know I, it's over 100. Yeah, they have sales often, and if you don't own the game at all, 
you could wait for one of those sales. There may be one right now. I mean, it's kind of the time of year where such sales are on, so I'd give it a look, see if you can get uh, a hold of something like that. Get your great one yet? Unfortunately, not Eric. Hopefully, one will uh, show up eventually. Just like that, no more gators. We we had our chance. Blew it on that one. Rancho got old for me because there was just so many animals. Yeah, and I don't think it was the number of animals that was the issue. It was the... Like, there were, I don't know, three or four just amazing spots. And then the rest were just okay. So you you could multiply a server hop, and it was, you know, a lot of fun to jump around and kill just insane amounts of uh, animals in a short period of time. But it, how many times can you do that until it gets boring? With sales, it was around 80 USD, if I recall correctly. That's not too bad. I like how Endo is just Billy's ult. <laughs> just saying. I belong to the subscribers? Yeah, I'm basically like the Green Bay Packers. They don't have an owner. It's a uh, fan owned. How's hunting IRL going for you so far? Um, I've shot as many real life white tail deer during the stream as I have during rifle season if that answers your question <laughs> not the best but there's still plenty of time what do the hunting structures look like I don't think I've built one yet that would be intriguing to know I guess we'll have to try to find out I don't know if there's anything along this coast by the way I'm just kind of assuming it's tracks for days and I know we are late like it's almost 1500 I always enjoy, and you know, th this is one part of, there we go, one part of new maps that does eventually dry up. When you don't know the best times, and you just let the time roll and go forever, that can be, I don't know, I think that's a lot of fun. Um, what's up? Fire sirens going off. Oh. Sounds creepy. It does. Anyway, yeah, I was, I just, a random thought that I had. I think I had two diamond antelope jackrabbits on the Rancho beta, and I still never killed one in single player on the live game. I wonder if, you know, because I wasn't hunting at, you know, particular times. I was just, just going. All right. Change of plan. I'm going to kill this turkey with a 22, because I want to know how the soft point bullets do. Look at her white tail going. Another hen turkey over there. Be nice if there's a gobbler, but kind of is what it is. We'll take our hen, which went down a lot more quickly that time. So, I'd say stop points are definitely a good thing. We are going to raise scarecrow, scarecrows at 24-hour stream. Scarecrows. How uh, did you have light brown as a turkey creation? No. Try to figure them all out. Yeah, we're gonna send a little YouTube raid. You can do a raid on YouTube, but I don't know how. Maybe it's not implemented yet. I don't think it is yet. Okay. Well, we'll do a uh, de facto raid via putting the link in chat. And I think it is about time for that. I don't know. We got to shoot pretty much one of everything during the course of the stream. I'm not sure. We definitely didn't kill any hogs. Um, feels like we had at least one of everything else. And got a good bit of exploring done. Definitely some outposts unlocked and some... Uh, new places to start from probably in tomorrow's stream uh that's going to be the plan around the same time it could be a little bit earlier um if i get home from hunting earlier it's funny like i plan these streams around not killing anything in the evening when i go hunting but uh if such things happen if we get to fill a deer tag i'll post on the community tab and definitely if we if we kill a deer i'll just stream later because i probably won't hunt the next morning uh but we shall see how all that goes uh but yeah the link for Scarecrow stream is there in the chat if you guys want to go and check that out. He's doing a 24-hour stream here on YouTube. And I can tell you from experience when doing a 24-hour stream, having an active chat makes a world of difference. So go say hi. I know he's probably here on Mississippi Acres as well. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this stream. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you over there in Scarecrow's chat. You got to go or Billy's going to be disappointed. Bye.